Hi, I'm Jody Kidnai, and I live in Orlando, Florida, in the United States. Welcome to my lesson in compression settings in Reaper. This lesson is for week four of Introduction to Music Production at Coursera.org. I chose this topic because I've not used compression before, so I wanted to do some experimenting in my DAW. I also am trying out Reaper after having used an old version of Cubase LE and experimenting with some screen capture software. So it's all new to me. Um, I'm learning a lot from this course and thank you for your feedback in advance. This is the compression window in Reaper and these are some of the settings that I'm going to be experimenting with on one of my songs to see how I can change the sound. These are definitions of the terms uh, for the settings in the compression window and I'm going to be experimenting with each of these to see how it affects the sound of one of my recordings that I made previously in Cubase. I'm Jody Kidney, and I'm going to try to demonstrate some uses of compression on one of my songs. Um, this is a song that I've previously recorded in a different DAW so I'm kind of experimenting with a new DAW. I've um, downloaded the trial version of Reaper, so I'm testing it out to see what functionality it has compared to my very old version of Cubase that I recorded these tracks in. Um, I loaded this in, and these tracks originally had, um, I had added some distortion to the acoustic guitar and some phasing to the vocals and so now I'm going to kind of see how compression changes the sound. Here's the original sound of it. So now I'm going to go into the effects and choose compression and see how I can change the vocal sound. made a big difference. without it. In doing this assignment, I found that I really need to take a lot of time <laughs> to explore the f different things that you can do with compression and uh, gates and other types of dynamic range processors. I thank you for your time and uh, see you next time. Thanks.